Welcome to my Molten Core Boss Guide for Season of Discovery. This guide will primarily focus on the Heat Level 3 difficulty, however, all the strategies can be applied to the other difficulties as well. First, let's talk about Fire Resistance. For Heat Level 3, it's recommended to have at least 226, and for Heat Level 2, it's recommended to have at least 96. The reason this is so important is every boss in Molten Core now has a conflagrate mechanic that will one-shot you if you ever go below a certain amount of Fire Resistance. At the moment, we don't exactly know what that number is, but it's a safe bet to try to stay above 226 as much as possible. People are already getting one shot by this by just losing Fire Resist Totem or Fire Resist Aura, so keep that in mind that this is easily the most important part of the entire raid. The first boss in Molten Core will be Lucifron. The strategy here is to ignore the adds and single target the boss down. The reason for this is the adds continuously just heal themselves, so it's pretty impossible to kill them. Just single target the boss and you should be just fine. I recommend having an off tank pick up the adds and facing them away from the raid as they do cleave. Other than that, make sure that you're decursing Lucifron's curse, as well as dispelling impending doom off of the tank and the off tank. You can pretty much outheal this, so you don't need to dispel the entire raid, just make sure that your raid stays above 80%, and that everyone has been buffed with shadow protection before the pull. And then finally, make sure you're dispelling Dominate Mind. This is the mind control ability for this fight. Make sure you're dispelling it as quickly as possible, and it shouldn't be any problem. For Magmadar, the only thing that has really changed is Magmadar will spawn adds periodically. Make sure that your tank or your off tank is picking these up and facing them away from the raid. Make sure that you do cleave down these adds as Magmadar will continuously spawn more and more as the fight continues. Make sure that your hunter is trank shotting the frenzy ability as soon as possible, and make sure that you have Tremor Totem and Fear Wards assigned so that you can deal with the fear mechanic. Other than that, just make sure you're not standing in the fire and you should be able to kill this boss. Gehennis. For this fight, I recommend following the same strategy as Lucifron, having an off tank pick up the adds and having DPS focus down the boss. You can choose to cleave the adds down, however, since they do not heal themselves like Lucifron, but I recommend to secure that kill, just single target the boss, and it's pretty easy. The only thing worth noting is the decurse is the primary reason you're going to wipe on this fight, so decurse this immediately as it will reduce your healing by 100%. The only other thing worth talking about is you can pop a free action potion to avoid the stun that the adds will do. Other than that, move out of the Reign of Fire and you should be able to kill this boss, no problem. Gar. On the poll, I recommend buffing as many magic buffs as possible, as Gar will periodically dispel them throughout the fight. Have one or two tanks, pick up the adds, and get them away from the raid. You're going to be following the same strategy as before, and just single target the boss, and ignore the adds. If the adds are an issue, you can have another off tank pick up more, or you can have some of your warlocks banish them throughout the fight. The only new mechanic is the magma ken that will randomly spawn and charge players and just explode, knocking them back a couple yards. To deal with this, simply have your raid position against the wall so that you're getting knocked towards the wall and not all the way across the room, causing you to have to reposition. Baron Geddon. For this fight, be prepared to move a lot. Baron will cast a new ability called Inferno. This leaves a pool of lava on the ground, you'll need to get out of it immediately. This will root and pacify the player if they get stuck in it. The strategy here is to kite Baron all the way into Gar's room, so clear as much trash as needed. Throughout the fight, priests and pallies need to dispel Ignite Mana from the raid, and be prepared to move out of the raid if you get Living Bomb. This will explode and do AoE damage to everyone around you, so move out of the raid if you get affected by it. Baron will now cast this on 3 players on Heat Level 3, so be prepared to move away from other people affected by Living Bomb, as well as the raid. Mages can Ice Block, and pallies can Bubble it, however, so that's worth noting. Shazra. On the pole, make sure you put Detect Magic up so you can see when the Spell Reflect is active. This will happen every 20 seconds. Focus down the boss and only kill the adds if they are inside of the raid. Shaz will randomly teleport to a player within your raid, so try to spread out as much as possible. If you're having trouble with this fight, pop a Greater Arcane Protection Potion, and this should be an easy kill. Other than that, make sure you're dispelling Shazer's Curse, as it will make you take 100% more magic damage. Sulfur and Harbinger. The main ability for this fight is Dark Mending. This will heal the boss as well as the adds. Assign groups for kick assignments for making the adds much easier to deal with. The new ability is called Flame Spear and will attack a specific target, and then that target that is affected will pulse AoE damage. The adds now have an Immolation Aura, so be aware of that if you choose to cleave down the adds and the boss at the same time. I recommend killing the adds first as they are going to continuously heal until the end of the fight, and then focusing the boss after that. Golemag. The fight is truly just a tank and spank. Have the off tank pick up the two core hounds and face them away for the raid. Have your DPS just focus on Golemag the entire time, and just avoid the AoE abilities falling from the sky, and this should be an easy kill. Major Domo. For this fight, you'll want to have your main tank pick up the healers and Major Domo, and the off tank will pick up the remaining elites. Focus the elites first, and then focus down the healers. 
You're going to want to assign kicks for the dark mending heal. Make sure you stack whenever the raging flame debuff goes out. This will do a pulse of AoE damage, and if you stack with your raid, it'll split the damage. Watch out for the spell reflect, as well as watch out when Major Domo teleports a player to the center of the room. All you'll need to do is just move out of the fire that he throws you into. Alternatively, you can just cleave all the adds down at once if you choose to do so. Just be aware of the spell reflect, and don't worry about attacking Domo as he is unkillable. And that's pretty much the fight. And finally, the Fire Lord himself, Ragnaros. Spread your raid around the room, this will help you deal with the Lava Burst mechanic. At 50% or 3 minutes, Ragnaros will submerge. Gather up the adds around the room, drop a frost trap, and cleave them down. You'll want to try to pull the adds out as they die since they'll suck you in and do fire damage. Move them in a safe spot since when they die they drop a pool of fire, and that fire will stay there for the rest of the fight. Only other thing is to maybe look for a tank swap if your main tank is taking too much damage from the stacks from elemental fire, and of course avoid the AoE that's falling from the sky. And for the final boss in the raid, the Molten Core. This is ultimately just a DPS race before the core gets to 100% energy. If they do, they will cast an instant kill ability called Doomsday. Try and kill as many adds as possible or get an off tank to pull the adds off of the firefighters. The firefighters will help slow down how fast the boss gains their energy. Throughout the fight, you'll gain two debuffs and those players will have to stack on each other to remove this buff. Heart of Ash and Heart of Cinder. Meet somewhere in the middle of the room so that you can dispel this as quickly as possible. Dodge the AoE abilities that are falling from the sky, and maybe look for a tank swap if Melt Armor is crushing your tank. That's it for this boss guide. I'll be making more boss guides in the future for Season of Discovery, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when I post a new video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.